The majority of, of fatal accidents, fall of ground fatal accidents, still happen in the stoping environment on the mine. So we know that fall of grounds are the number one killer in the mining industry in our country. But the majority of those accidents happen in an in a area zero to four meters from the stoping face in conventional faces. So it was very important for us to look at, at things to improve the opportunity that our workforce has to identify fall of ground hazards in that area. Falls of ground are historically the biggest contributor to industry fatalities. The Minerals Council CEO Zero Harm Forum mandated the Minerals Council's Rock Engineering Technical Committee to collaborate with the South African Institute of Rock Engineers to propose recommendations on how to improve rock-related safety performance. So the force of ground elimination of fatalities action plan is a result of many hours of collaborative labor between the Rock Engineering Technical Committee and SANAE, supported by SEGMA and AMSA. At Elon Mine, we have an undulating shear zone over the entire ore body, which makes it geotechnically a little bit complex for us. So from the beginning we figured that we, we would want to improve lighting amongst other things on the mine so that we could better identify hazards and, and react to those hazards. Underground lighting is very important for the employees like, to identify hazards because our members are most of the time subjected to very trying conditions underground and having the illumination that is very Right down there, they can, they can identify hazards that can save lives. What Elant has done to improve the underground lighting conditions is from the onset when we started the mine, we went out and we, and we looked for, for different suppliers, different kinds of technologies that were available at the time. We early on identified a product we liked, something that was robust, was easy to install and remove. And we rolled it out from the onset on the mine, not just uh, in the stoping environment, but across the whole property. I believe that coupled with all the other MOSH initiatives that we've also adopted has gone a long way to making Ilant, when it comes to fall of ground accidents, a very safe mine. Ilan Mine has demonstrated how adequate in stop lighting can improve working conditions and reduce force of ground risks by identifying them early and correctly. It also revealed that adequate in stop lighting increases both employee morale and productivity. Employees and members have welcomed the improvement because now it has enhanced visibility and it also assists with the safety factor when it comes to women. They feel also safe when they are underground with the visibility and the illumination that is underground. Addressing these activities through the adoption of the six pillars of the action plan will help the industry reach its zero harm goals. The six pillars focus on adoption of leading practices, implementation of research, capacity building of rock engineers, implementation of policies, facilitating a zero harm enabling environment and monitoring of force of ground safety performance. The action plan approved in July 2021 includes a financial investment of 40 million rands over five years towards research and development and an additional 6 million rands over three years for skills development.